If you're a business trying to strive in today's digital world, data collection is a key driver of success. By leveraging web scraping as a tool, business can efficiently gather valuable insights, monitor market trends, and gain a competitive edge. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to build a web scraping agent using OpenAI's Swarm framework in Python. If you are not familiar with OpenAI's Swarm framework, Swarm is an experimental project to showcase the handoff and routines pattern among AI agents. By using an AI agent to perform web scraping tasks, we no longer need to spend the time to examine HTML page source code and page structures. The AI agent will take care of those things for us. In the past, when we perform a web scraping project, we have to focus on one website at a time. Now we can pass URL from different website to output the result. This is going to be somewhat a beginner friendly tutorial. The only requirement is you have some experience working with Python and a solid understanding of how generative AI works. To get started, launch a terminal and run the command showing on the screen to install Swarm and beautiful soup Python libraries. And make sure you create an OpenAI API key before start the tutorial. Launch your ID and create a Python file called webscraper.py. Import the required Python packages. Create a constant variable to define the GPT model we want to use. For web scraping tasks, I generally use GPT-40 just because it can handle more complex logics and can follow the instructions a bit better. For demonstration and cost saving purposes, let's go with GPT-40 Mini and see how it performs. To return a web page's content, create a function called scrape web page with a parameter called URL. This is going to be one of the tools assigned to an agent to use to fetch a page's content. You can always modify the function based on your use case. Inside the function, insert the doc string to guide AI agents how to properly use the function. When it comes to building AI agents, I found that type annotations and doc string improve an agent's tool of choice and performance tremendously. For the request call, we will take the URL argument and use an HTTP client to make a get request to download the target's page HTML source code, then feed into beautiful soup, get the text, and remove the empty lines. Now let's create the agents. Create two agents called page scraper agent and data transformation agent. We will rely on the page scraper agent to make request calls to fetch a web page's HTML text content, then pass the content to the data transformation agent to examine the text and organize it into a JSON output. For each agent, assign a name, a model, and a set of instructions to define its behavior and purpose. The instructions are the most important component when creating your own agent, as they dictate the entire workflow. This is something I always take extra time to ensure the instructions are detailed and specific. Now create the functions to be used for the agent handoff. At this point, we have created all the tools. Let's assign the tools to the agents for them to use. And that's all the prep work to set up the agents. Let's set up the main routine to launch the AI agents. In the main routine, create a Swarm client instance, then insert a while loop to keep the conversation session live. This is going to be a simple routine. We will only ask the user to provide a pages URL and send a web scraping request to an agent using the run function from the Swarm's client instance with page scraper agent as the starting point. For the initial development, I will set the debug mode to true to see what is happening in the background. Because the sole purpose of our agent is to return a web page's content as JSON output, nothing else. Therefore, I am not going to keep track of the message history. The other benefit is we are actually saving token usage by not accumulating the input tokens. 
to test out the agent, let's use books to scrapes website. From the logging output, we can see that the page scraper agent successfully fetched the page's text content, but the data transformation agent failed to convert the input into a JSON dataset. This is what I meant by GPT-40 mini sometimes cannot handle complex workflow properly. Let's change the model to GPT-40 instead and see what happens. Okay, so the issue here is probably due to in the web scraper agent instruction, I didn't specify the correct function name in step two. Let me fix that and try again. And this time, the agent run is able to return the JSON data set in the output. To ensure consistent output, I will definitely refine the instruction to be more specific. Let's try a different site. Looks like the request failed. Let's enter the URL and try again. OK. The rerun is able to return the JSON data set from Craigslist page. This is everything I'm going to share in this tutorial. Hopefully, you find this video useful. If you're a Patreon member, you can download the source code from the link in the description below. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Happy coding. See you in the next one.